What is up you guys and welcome back to another video and welcome to the new house. Okay, so we just moved in this weekend. I didn't get any footage of us moving in, but I'll take you on a quick tour, even though that's not what this video is about. But here we are. We just walked in. It's probably hard to see. Yep, okay, so we just walked in. We recently had a birthday, so, you know, pardon the balloons, some flowers. Here it is, nothing special, but that's where we're at. We moved, we got a new spot, and now we've got our own garage space to do what it is that we please with. All right, so the real reason of this video today is to talk about why you shouldn't buy an F-150 and put Falcon suspension on it. Falcon's made by Terraflex, and you guys heard that right. Tag them in the comments below so they can see this video, but there you can probably see a little better right there these are the falcon shocks those are the front and these are the rear and uh yeah again this video is why you shouldn't buy falcon shocks for your f-150 now let me get started off by saying that the rear shocks have been phenomenal they are super awesome i have zero complaints whatsoever with those shocks okay they have been phenomenal they actually have that tow haul setting where you can flip this over and uh, stiffen up the suspension and I haven't had to use it too much it looks pretty cool kind of has that like raptor-esque look and uh yeah so let's get to it uh the reason why you shouldn't buy it is because of this right here all I'm gonna do right now is open the door and take a step in and see if you can hear that Can you guys hear that? Look at that, I sprayed a bunch of grease and uh, let me get another view so you guys can hear that a lot better. So you guys probably heard that God awful squeak. I don't know what it is. I can't seem to figure it out. I've taken it to the shop, a couple of different shops actually. And one of them tried to tell me it was a ball joint. I can guarantee it's not a ball joint. It's something to do with the spring itself. And uh, let me start by saying that Terraflex has not been much help on this. I've emailed them and this started probably six, six or eight months ago. So I've had the suspension for almost two years. So about a year, year and a half in, give or take, this started. And uh, what they told me was that I need to take the dust boots off of the strut, which granted they were not supposed to be installed per the instructions. However, I can guarantee that that's not what's squeaking. And after a year and a half of them being quiet and all of a sudden it started to squeak, that it would be the dust boot on the strut. I don't think so, Terraflex. So again, do not buy them. They are awful with their customer service. All they keep telling me is they can't do anything I take the, until I take the dust boots off because they think that's what the squeak is. I've told them it's not that. And uh, again, they've been nothing but a headache. So I do not recommend buying them. And if you guys are seeing this, reach out to me. I'd love to get this issue resolved without having to spend money to get the dust boots removed because uh, I know that's not it. So if you're out there, Terraflex, and you're seeing this, definitely reach out to me and let's get this fixed. But other than that, guys, that is all we got today. It's a quick, short video. Do not buy Falcon Shocks by Terraflex. Awful. And we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.